Good evening. The nominee may be named Giuliani or Romney or Thompson or Mr. Surprise, but still more indications that if the Democrats choose Hillary Clinton to run for president next year, her Republican opponent will actually be Karl Rove. And that, in our fifth story on the countdown, seems to underscore Senator Clinton's task to at least partially recreate herself. A reminder, it has been done in our country by Richard Nixon at least twice. Clinton v. Rove, Clinton first. The Associated Press story you know about. Interviews with 40 Democratic candidates, consultants, and party chairs who voiced, mostly anonymously, concerns that the senator might be too polarizing a candidate, that she could cost congressional seats, that she will rally people to vote against her. An echo of Mr. Rove's prediction in yesterday's Wall Street Journal that Clinton is a, quote, tough, tenacious, fatally flawed candidate. Senator Clinton brushed off both charges to our Andrea Mitchell. Carl Rove, sort of a parting shot, <laughs> said that you are fatally flawed as a candidate. Well, aren't we glad to see him go, I think, is the answer to that. You know, I am thrilled to be running this campaign and to be getting the response that I'm getting um, all over the country. And there was an Associated Press report quoting Democrats saying that you might pull down the ticket. Well, I'm ahead and I'm winning and I'm gaining support everywhere I go and I don't think I have any right to anybody's vote. I have to earn every vote and that's what I'm doing every day. And in an effort to earn votes, the senator has unveiled her first TV ad in Iowa trying to refocus her image by emphasizing her compassion and likability. As I travel around America, I hear from so many people who feel like they're just invisible to their government. Hillary Clinton has spent her life standing up for people others don't see. You know, if you're a family that is struggling and you don't have health care, well, you are invisible to this president. If you're a single mom trying to find affordable child care so you can go to work, well, you're invisible too. And I never thought I would see that our soldiers who serve in Iraq and Afghanistan would be treated as though they were invisible as well. Americans from all walks of life across our country may be invisible to this president, but they're not invisible to me, and they won't be invisible to the next president of the United States. I'm Hillary Clinton, and I approve this message. The White House deferring to the Republican National Committee on the politics of that ad before attacking the rest of it. Spokesperson Dana Perino telling reporters, quote, as to the merits of it, I think it's outrageous, continuing, and as to whether or not our troops are invisible to this president, I think that that is absurd and that is unconscionable that a member of Congress would say such a thing. Senator Clinton responding in turn to that attack this evening, saying, quote, apparently I've struck a nerve. I'm joined now by our political analyst, Lawrence O'Donnell, who also contributes to HuffingtonPost.com. Good evening, sir. Good evening, Keith. The latest Gallup poll revealing 47% of the respondents hold Hillary Clinton in high regard, but the unfavorable view comes in at 49%. You can always change a poll number, but can you change that poll number enough to get yourself elected president? It is the most difficult poll number to change, especially when 100% of the public knows you and 49% have made this unfavorable judgment. But she's done it before, Keith. Uh, she, when she first ran in New York State, uh, her unfavorable uh, was, un, was relatively high, and she did change a lot of minds. It's very unusual for uh, a, an incumbent president, which is what Hillary Clinton is comparable to as a candidate because she's known by 100% of the electorate, very unusual for them to be able to change minds. She's done it before. I know it anecdotally. I know people in New York who didn't want to vote for her at the beginning. They changed their minds. They voted for her. She is a very, very effective campaigner. Uh, her ad campaign will be very effective. She's going to be, as we've seen, effective as a campaigner, uh, pretty much flawless in debate performances. Uh, she will change minds. She probably won't make mistakes. Uh, can, how far down can she push that 49? I, I think that number can only go down. I don't know how low it can go. It'll probably be the highest negative that any of the candidates have going into this election. Uh, but she's gotten a long way with a high negative for a politician. Now, uh, turning this towards uh, the implications of uh, Mr. Rove's sudden free agency here, Nicole Wallace, the former communication director at the, at the White House for Mr. Bush, said the, of Senator Clinton, quoting, Hillary is running the most Rove-like campaign out of all of them. She's almost operationalized the whole idea of turning your weakness into strength, message discipline that is almost pathological. She does not get off message for any reason and never skipping an opportunity to exploit her opponent's weakness.